morning, everyone. Dr. Fantastic here with the, a three-minute omelet. Remember the other day I made Mexican food? Well, after I made the food and the leftovers, this is a, a great leftover. You know, I threw the beans. A lot of people put the beans in a separate thing, put the meat in a different thing, put the tomatoes and onions in a different container. I threw it all together because they're, they're all going to be mixed together anyway. Keep life simple. You got to keep life simple. So basically, I'm going to make it's called a Mexican omelet because if you like Mexican food, there's certainly nothing wrong with it making it the next day in a Mexican omelet or, or the day after. Now I've never used this product before, but it tastes it's real eggs. It's for the lazy American that doesn't want to scramble it. But all you do is crack a couple eggs, scramble it. Sometimes I put some milk in it to make it go a little further, a little fluffier. But uh, basically, I'm going. I'm gonna, Make a, oh, here comes my aunt. I'm uh, recording the show, apparently. Anyway, so basically, I put some butter on the pan, then I put the egg in there, get it, uh, get it cooking, and then all I do is put some of that leftover Mexican food in it, because it if it was good for Mexican food the day before, it's certainly good for a Mexican omelet the day after. You know, you gotta make your life simple. I like processed, sliced cheese. It's real easy. Got to put a little of that in it. And of course, you can put some more onions and tomato and salsa on it if you like. Kitty cheese. Yeah, kitty cheese, exactly. So basically, <laughs> you got to have fun in the kitchen, bring the kids in to cook. And it, it, cooking is really easy. You can't take it too serious. And again, this is a two minute omelet. Look at this. Very easy and delicious. So, can you put it on a pot for a minute? Yeah, your yeah, flame's awful high. Yeah. And, and we're back with an omelet. Now, it broke a little bit because maybe I put too much uh, goodies in it, but uh, Marilyn, she likes to put it underneath the broiler. Just for like. Just a couple of seconds. Just to finish it off. One swirl of I guarantee you. And you put a little salsa on it. Hold on a second here. Or the plate. Get your plate. Now, this, the non-stick hands, of course. <laughs> Again, does it matter that it doesn't look real pretty? This is, this is pretty cooking. This is easy, simple cooking. Then you throw a little salsa on it. The pinto beans make it. The pinto beans really make it, yeah, especially for a, a burrito. Now, it's not the prettiest in the world. I made better. But as you know, my YouTube channel is one take, no edits, maybe a slice, but no edits. And uh, that's it. Have a fantastic breakfast, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, Robert has tasted the, um, Dr. Fantastic's burrito. What are the, so the, is the result? It's a... Fantastic, unexpected pleasure. It's delicious. Okay. What'd you think of the guacamole? Well, the guacamole is the best I've ever had. Period. What do you think about the pizza? Pizza was uh, incredible. I, I would never have put sauerkraut on a pizza in my life. It was delicious. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Well, that's what the eating's all about, right? Very good. Thank you. Okay, we're getting the testimonial from Marilyn. What do you think of the uh, Mexican omelet? Awesome. It's just, it's better than the burrito. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what did you think about the pizza the other night? Oh, well, that was great. Okay, what do you think about the um, oh, guacamole? Great. Fantastic. And you even had some of my soup. What do you think of the soup? The 50 cent soup? Oh, yeah. Great. Okay. I, I'm going to eat it all if you don't. No, no, go oh, eat, 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 be, eat, <laughs> eat, eat. <laughs> all right, I have to go make myself beautiful. Okay, you already are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. This video presentation is brought to you by Via Drinks. Live the Via Life. Proactive hydration, low calories, delicious taste. You'll love it. It's fantastic. You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic. You're a star. 
overpopulated cities around the world have caused people to become a greedy, selfish, and litigious society. Would you like to be happier, live longer, never be forgotten, and help make the world a kinder, more civil place? It's actually easier than you think. Every day you're asked, how are you? Instead of saying good, say I am fantastic. It will make you look better, feel great, and reduce your stress. Making the world a better place starts with each person. Please join the Be Fantastic movement today. What you want to be, you can be. Be fantastic. I met Dr. Fantastic along life's way. And I heard him say, You are fantastic. Yes, you are. You are fantastic. You're a